guys, what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and today is a super exciting video because I'm going to show you my apartment, which I've been promising you this video for quite a while. Why am I setting my toes? I don't know. Maybe it's because I start work tomorrow and I'm super excited about it. But I want to welcome you to our beautiful home first. So come in everybody, let's have a look. So first of all, in the hallway, here we have this amazing picture. One of my friends actually created this and it has like scriptures on it. And it just reminds us when we come into the place that we're unique and that we're valued and that we should really thrive in our uniqueness and not compare ourselves to each other, which I think is super important, especially in the dance world. Over here, I'm not really sure what it is. Nice looking leaf thing that was already here when we got when we got here. So yeah, just gonna take a moment to appreciate that. Does this still smell? Yeah, it does a bit. Also over there, we have a weird phone. When we have a visitor come, like a package, sometimes like they show up on this little screen, which is actually quite cool. And up from the hallway, not much to see around here, really. What you want to see is this room. This is my favorite room in the house, really. The living room. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to show you this place. Wait, I've got something on my phone. I just did that thing. So this is the space I was so excited about when we got this apartment because like literally you can do quartelles, there's so much space. Me and Reagan have already taken like tons of classes in this space. I am so excited because it's almost like having my own like little dance studio. I feel like you could almost even fit a whole variation here. And the floor actually isn't too slippy. Obviously we do have a bar. We have this lovely little picture that actually my late grandma painted and drew for me. So it just reminds me of her and it's very special. Over here, we have the corner we don't discuss. Still sorting this one out. Shelves. Bookcase. Bookcase to put all of the, like this is the exercise stuff, our value bags, etc. We actually have to buy a fan because it can get very hot in here. We have some nice flowers. These have actually lasted quite a long time. I got these when we first moved in. We've got all of our books and Bibles. I actually love this coffee table because something about the glass makes the room feel lighter. And really in this room, I really want to feel like the lightness and just the joy that we have to be here. I want the room to reflect that, which I feel like it does. So I feel like we're going to add some more decorations soon. We're just kind of still moving in. And then obviously we've got the pillows and it's absolutely humongous sofa. Look, I said this in my other vlog, but you can fit two of you in here. And then up there, we have one of my favorite dance for paintings, photos. That's definitely the ideal for one for this apartment because we're moving for him. Over here we actually store our dance mats where we put down on the floor when we dance so it's not as slippy. This is a little, I don't know if you can guess whether this is a apartment with dancers in. I don't, I don't know if it's that obvious or not. <laughs> it, it, it should be by this point. Over here we have this lovely lamp. Not much to say about it apart from it looks pretty, pretty epic. And one of my favorite features of the apartment is it came with this clock. Having this big clock does tend to make me run on time a little bit more. I'm not going to say a lot more because we haven't actually started yet and I might like reverse back on my work instead. The thing I love about this is that it's like almost a breakfast bar. So it feels very casual. This is Reagan's corner. This is Reagan's corner. <laughs> Should we get a shot of it? <laughs> got the hob to work oh my goodness if you saw my instagram story and you've seen a later vlog i just couldn't get this thing to work and i didn't understand why and i got up one morning nice and early i was like i'm ready for my porridge bring it on and then i turned the hob on and it just keeps turning off i got so frustrated i had to cook my oats in the oven what i realized is i didn't have the right pans for the, the hob and so i had to go out and buy these huge pans and I, I wasn't ready for them to be delivered. I wanted them that day. Nine, I don't know if they're aluminium pans, and I walked back from Argos with these huge pans, but it was worth it for the porridge. Over here, obviously the sinks, the cupboards, we've got our kettle. We've still got to get a few more things, like I think we might get a microwave. We've got our blender, blender the blender. And this is Agatha. Welcome, Agatha. So we didn't have the best introduction to Agatha when we first tried to use her. Yeah, we can flash back to that. So we've been trying to get the washing machine to work and she started to make a noise, which is very exciting. We were pressing, I think, every single button on there. She is a sheep. We don't have a name yet. Do oh, 
She's beeping. Why is she beeping? She's beeping. She's rinsing. Oh, she's rinsing. Why is she rinsing? She hasn't even washed she's yet. Even washed yet. We will whip her in shape. Because that is what us ballet dancers do. Yeah, that's the uh, adulting episode five. Why is she beeping? Can you stop beeping? It freaks me out. Why are you beeping, girl? Stop. Maybe if I press a few more buttons. No, okay. <laughs> it feels like she wants us to say something to her. You can do it, baby! It was it was not a good time. We called it Agatha because we just were in a bit of agony when we were first trying to like get to know her. Things weren't great. So we're, we're on better terms now, but only just. Also, guys, I got this fruit from the market. Guess how much this was? They were two pounds for all of this. A pound for grapes and a pound for blueberries. And the blueberries are really, really sweet. So I was very chuffed with that, bye. So that is the kitchen. But equally as exciting is my bedroom. So let's go have a look. My bedroom is right across from the living room. Ta-da! Very cozy, I've put lots of pictures up and um, yeah, I really like it. I've never in my life actually had a double bed. I'm learning how to starfish, look, I'm getting there. <laughs> I still, look, I still come off the bed. A professional starfisher. A professional starfish. Over here I have pictures. It might seem weird that I have pictures of my wall of myself. I'm not that self-obsessed. There is a reason behind it. These are like big events in my life that I remember working so, so hard for. So when I look at them, it reminds me that I need to keep working hard towards my next goals and dreams. So this was the Commonwealth Games in 2018. This was the greatest dancer BBC TV series that was at the semi-finals and this was Elmhurst Valley School but also this was the day I found out that I was understudy for the Snow Ferry in Bunny Royal Ballet's production which was a massive achievement for me and it was the first time that I actually thought wow maybe I, maybe I can do this, maybe I can actually be a ballet dancer. So each one of these photos has like a memory attached behind it which inspires me to keep working towards my dreams and goals. And then round here, we have my big photo wall with all of my family, friends. I need to get one of Reagan up here. We've got, just had some photos done. So we're gonna get <laughs> one printed and put up on this wall. Just memories that just really mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, so this was very special, a special wall that I look at every time I go to sleep for my grand, my brothers. And then actually this, you might wonder what this is, but this was actually the piece of paper that designated my spot in the BRB dressing room, I think, when I did the Nutcracker with them in December. I think it was on my face page. They had like the little names on there, so I kept that without knowing that one day I'd actually be part of the company. And then obviously I've got my wardrobe. No one needs to see in there because it's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Let's carry on to my bathroom. Now, I said to myself, I could not get an apartment without getting a bath because I missed a bath so much last year. If you saw my apartment tour from last year, my toilet was basically in my shower. The most exciting part, my toilet. It's uh, as basic as it will possibly get. Like Barry, come on. Oh, sorry, I've named my lights at this point. So, um, possibly the tiniest toilet I've seen in my life. And shower. I I'm blessed to even have a shower that is my own, so I can't complain. No more needs to be said about this room. Let's carry on. Whereas today, you see the new and improved version. Of the bath. I actually want to get some things to like organize this so much better so it's not all just spread out but those are all my toiletries and my hair stuff. See there's not much else to see apart from the bath and I have to recommend these. Acai berry bath salts. This has been it recently. <laughs> they smell so good and also I've literally had a bath every single day since I got here because I didn't tell Raven this yesterday but I almost flooded the house. I literally was on the phone to my mum and um, I, <laughs> I just left the bath on and running and I just forgot and it, w it went up to like about here. It's all hot. So I had to wait. Do we have a drain, down. like an emergency drain? No. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Hopefully the landlords won't watch this. Okay, let's go <laughs> into Reagan's room. Okay, so my room is a lot less exciting than Hannah's. I need to get photos and things still. So cool. here we go. First, we have the hallway. And the hallway opens up right to my bed, which has been my pride and joy recently. When we first moved in, um, the mattress that was on it, I feel like a princess in the pea. So I replaced the mattress, and then I got all my bedding yesterday, and it just makes it feel like home. This is finally starting to come together, and it makes me so happy. I wait till I get like photos and things printed back here, and make it nice and pretty and homey, and get my family up, and maybe some Texas memorabilia because. Yeah. 
Texans love Texas. Uh, my walls, my closet, <laughs> which can stay closed. Like Hannah said, no one needs to see in there. Uh, can we see your point shoe collection really quick? I mean, that is point shoe heaven. Look at it. Just take a good look of that. And it and and professional dancer who? <laughs> and here's my bathroom. <laughs> I got towels yesterday as well. And I kind of went with a the theme. I'm not sure if you can tell. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, my hairbrush. To get all of my organizational stuff as well. Right now, I just have a few travel kits and. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's so good for like doing makeup as well in here. Yeah, I feel like, like we've got a lot of good mirror space. Definitely. It makes it easy to do our hair. And yes. Like check well, we need we need it as dogs. Yes, don't we? yes. And like literally like French twists. Hey guys, it's now Sunday. It's my day off for the Nutcracker. I have to put my hair in a French twist for the snow attendant role that I'm doing. Only problem is I've never actually done a French twist in my life. So we're gonna give it a go and see how this goes. I'm just gonna follow a tour on YouTube. This is the first attempt. Not great. It's up. That is better than originally how I thought it was gonna be. Yes, it's still not great though. I don't even wanna know what it looks like at the back. Let's try again. Okay, so this is round two. I believe it looks a bit better from the front, but you know what? Oh. Oh, that is going on there. It looks like a growth on my head. I don't want to see the back, but you will see it. Hopefully it looks better than it feels. Let's go for round three. Round three. Um, it's potentially the worst in the last round. I tried and attempted to get this tighter and it didn't really work. I still look like I've got a bit of a Mohican going on. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a little bit puffed at the front. I'm hoping it looks better. Can't actually see it until I watch back this video. On to round four. This doesn't work. Ugh. I don't like French twists. I believe this is my 10th or 12th attempt. I'm done. I still look like I've got Mohican. Oh dear, it does not feel good whatsoever. Why is it not French twist? Okay, I think it's my 12th attempt and I'm gonna leave it at that for today because I have literally started crying over this thing. I need some sleep. It's not great, I'm not going to lie to you, but that's where we're at for today. I'm going to edit some videos and relax and try and forget that this isn't working. We're going to have to do a lot of them, I just feel it. So guys, thank you so much for watching our apartment tour. We really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button and the notification bell because there's lots more videos coming from us. We actually have quite an exciting vlog coming up. When Reagan first got out of her quarantine, because Definitely don't want to miss that. Bubbles of excitement and exhaustion. <laughs> <Yeah. same. laughs> I'm like thinking back on everything. I'm like, oh gosh. Oh, thank you so much for all your love and support. And thank you guys for all the lovely messages from my last video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, welcome to our new apartment. New beginnings. Yay. Here we go. Let's go to church. Woo! Dream big and make it happen.